Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayuri Stock Channel. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to see the exact difference between the AWT and a swing. So, here are some of the points, the points that I have wrote, written here. So, one by one, we are going to discuss regarding it. Now, the first one is a heavy weight and light weight. Now, what exactly is the difference here? The AWT, what are the components are there? What are the membranes required for the AWT components? are more the memory required is more and hence the components or the AWT components are everywhere but here whatever the memory is required is less and hence they are lightweight and the next one is supports does not support pluggable look and fit and supports a pluggable look and fit now here it does not support the look pluggable look and fit here some of the whatever the uh, output is there if you see it is not much attractive as compared to swing because here we can't add the different colors and uh, images on that particular button or the text fully don't use a color fully that means here it supports a pluggable look and fit so here whatever the output will be there we will see while programming, it's somewhat attractive as compared to AWT. The next one, which is very important, the AWT requires, it requires java.awt package. But here, it requires javax.swing package, which should be imported. Now, the next one is the limited components and here are advanced components. That means in AWT, there are some of limited components as compared to Swing. But in Swing, there are many more components and that are advanced components that are supported by Swing. Now, the next one is a old framework and new framework. In AWT, it uses the old framework, but here in Swing, it uses the new framework. The next one is a not portable. That means AWT components are not portable, but here the Swing is portable. As I told in the introduction that AWT, whatever the components are there, they are platform dependent. And here they are platform independent. And hence, they are not portable and the Swing is portable. Now the next one is the more code is required and less code. As compared to Swing, whatever the programming we did, if we will, we have did in AWT is somewhat more. More programming and more code or more lines we have required in AWT. But here it is not in the same. Here we can cover it in a less code. As I told, the Swing is extended version. It is extended version of AWT. And the next one is it does not support MVC. It supports a MVC. It is model view controller that we are going to have a point. Just remember here, this AWT does not support MVC and here the swing supports MVC and model view control that we are going to see in the next tutorials, which is the last point I think for your syllabus. So just remember here does not support it, here supports. So this was regarding the what exactly is the difference between the swing and AWT. If you have any kind of question, you can mention in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video.